We humbly asked him to remove our shortcoming. Thank you. I've lost my binder from National Strategies. The blue one? The black one with the secret launch codes. It'll turn up. I also need the Cabinet Affairs Amplification Report, and if you can get the AP Farm guy back online, I'm almost sure Toby gave me a punchier quote on ag reorganization. I shall do those things. You shall? I shall, and I'll tell you what I'd like in exchange. How about a weekly salary of some kind? Yes, plus a favor. Name it. It's a big favor. What do you need? I had an English teacher in the 12th grade named Molly Morello, and she was one of those teachers, and she's retiring. For me, it was Mr. Feig for American History AP and con law. Right. Unusual as it may seem, we're talking about me. And the big favor you want? All right. Tell me about Mr. Feig. No, I think that moment's done, except to say that he meant the world to me, and he died four years ago. OK, well, Mrs. Morello is retiring. Not quite as bad as dying. How hard is it to get a presidential proclamation? Molly Morello Day. I was hoping for Molly Morello Month, but I should be realistic. Yes. And that would be Molly Morello Day? That would be a nice letter from the principal. Oh, come on. Get him to sign a piece of paper, a little proclamation. A little piece of paper? Proclamations have the full force of law. The Emancipation Proclamation, to name just one? To name the only one. Listen, I, I don't know what's involved with these things. Probably have advisory boards, commissions, the NATO commanders involved, possibly. Can I find out what's involved? Yeah, but find me the blue notebook first. Yeah. I'm going to the meeting now. A folder called Southeast Targets. And... Thank you. I've been putting together a folder of my own. All the things that need to be done in order for the president to issue a proclamation. What has to be done? Let me check. Nothing. Donna. Nothing has to be done. He can't just issue a proclamation. He can. No, I'm saying he can't just because you want him to. What's next? Executive clemency if you're having a bad hair day? I never have a bad hair day. And Molly Morello was a public school teacher for 41 years. Which is nice, but these things are for important causes, not individual perks for staff. National Digestive Diseases Awareness Week. When was that? Right now. It began after General Pulaski Memorial Day. Look, if you're going to mock the dead... February was National Sewing Month, by the way. It's still the president's name and reputation. We haven't vetted this woman. You're saying, what if she's a lesbian? If, if she were a lesbian, we could talk. I'm, I'm saying, what if she's a bicycle thief? I doubt it. Don't doubt it. Know it. Do a Google search. Then talk to me. Clean as a whistle. Thank you. Molly Morello. Look. When was the last time I asked you for anything? By the way, I found this. What? A proclamation to modify the quantitative limitations applicable to the imports of wheat gluten. We are just a little Rococo, aren't we? Why is Molly Morello less worthy of a proclamation than General Pulaski? I wish I knew who General Pulaski was. This is what I mean. She's not less worthy, but neither is she more worthy than the other 90,000 public school teachers who are retiring this year. Who weren't lucky enough to have a White House staffer as a former student. But that's where we get into trouble. Who would find out? Who would find out is also where we frequently find trouble. You're right. Yes. All right, you're right. 